हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्राइस यू यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज स्कॉलरशिप एग्जाम स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ ऑनलाइन क्लास फॉर द सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स द डेसिमल एंड फ्रैक्शंस दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू कवर फॉर द एक्सरसाइज 18.3 फ्रॉम द नवनी डाइजेस्ट सो ऑन पेज नंबर 269 हंड्रेड एक्सरसाइज एटीन सो ही द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज देयर राइट द डेसीमल फ्रैक्शन ट्वेंटी As a vulgar fractions means decimal fractions. So twenty three point zero zero nine. We can uh, maintain the difference means twenty three plus zero point zero zero nine. Now this nine as the thousands place. Okay means in another way we can write down nine divided by thousands. Okay so means complete if we write down twenty three plus nine by thousands. Now. means another way 23 and 9 by 1000s okay now this is a mixed fraction so in another way as per the options this is a improper fractions maintaining so 1000 multiplied by 23 means 23000 and then plus this numerator means 9 so 23000s 9 divided by 1000s okay means denominator multiply by this quotient plus additions of this remainder okay so this is given in option number 2 now question number 2 between which of the two following fractions will be decimal fractions so uh, would be 0.836 okay now here the thousands place is there okay Uh, so means divided by the thousands so means this can be multi uh, in another way we can write down 836 divided by thousands so now for this moment we will just consider the numerator so here 0.83 and 0.84 means this can be considered 830 and 840 so this can be maintain in this one yes now option number 2 This is a point eight four and point eight five means eight hundred and forty and eight hundred and fifty. In between this one, this is cannot lie. So option number two is incorrect. Also option number three, point eight three seven means eight hundred and thirty seven because we are not considering the divisions or we consider denominator at the thousands place. For this moment. just the numerator we are converting and that is a considering. So point eight four means we will consider eight hundred and 40 so in this one uh, this also cannot lie because this is 837 starting so in between this range it cannot lie now option number 4 point 8 means this is a 800 and point uh, 83 means this is a 830 this also cannot be lie in this one so option number 4 also incorrect one means the option number 1 only the correct now question number 3 what is the place value of the digit Nine in the number twelve point twelve point zero nine zero nine. Now in this one nine's place value where to find out? So nine's at the hundreds means nine by hundreds. Okay, so this can be written as point zero nine. Okay, because after the decimal point, this is the tens and this is the hundreds, and this is given in option number three. Question number four: Which of the following number is the biggest now option 1 is the 30.03 option number 2 is the 30.3 30.3 option number 3 is the 33.03 and option 4 is the 33.3 now in this what we are considering first uh, tens unit place the tens hundreds all this one so here unit place 0 and uh, tens is the 3 so all having the tens 3 so we will consider the unit place so unit place here the 0 here 0 here 3 and 3 so for the largest means 3 uh, and 4 options we will consider after this one the decimal point and after decimal tens place here the 0 and here the 3 so this is a bigger one than this one so the option number 4 is the correct one now question number 5 which of the following statement is false so false statement we have to identify so option number 1 1 ml ml means milliliter is equals to 0.001 liter yes correct because 1 liter is equals to 1000 milliliter so if we divided both the side by thousands 
here also thousand and here also thousand so one upon thousand means zero point zero zero one liter is equals to thousand get cancelled thousand get cancelled means this is a ones is equals to ml so one ml is equal to zero point zero zero one liter yes this is the correct one but we record the false one now option number two one ml is equals to zero point zero one liter no already we have calculated so this is a false statement now option number three one centimeter is equals to point zero one meter uh, yes because as we know 100 centimeter is equals to one meter if we divided both the side by 100 so here also by 100 so this is a one centimeter is equals to one by 100 means zero point if this is a tens place and this is a thousands place so tens place and the thousands place this is a meter so zero point zero one meter so this statement also the correct means option number three is the correct one now option number four 0.1 gram is equals to one decagram yes this one also the correct one so the false statement means option number two is a false statement now question number six which of the following is the equivalent decimal fractions of 11 by 5 now equivalent decimal fractions we have to identify now in this one the denominator should be 1 10 100 in that one okay so in option number one this is a 5 multiplied by 2 and in numerator 11 multiplied by 2 means 22 by 10 is getting and this 10 can be a decimal fraction so after this one option number 2 3 and 4 are not a decimal fractions anyone that is not in equivalent because there is no any common factor between numerator and the denominator so that's why uh, option number one only the correct one now question number seven which is the greatest decimal number from the following so there are the point zero six okay then point six now six point zero and after that one zero point zero zero six and greatest decimal fractions greatest number we have to find out now there are the two methods now this sixth at the hundredth place means six by hundred then this is at the tens means six by ten now this is a at the tens place means this is only the six there is no divisions or we can say maintained by the one okay now this six at the thousands means six by thousands okay so if we come make the all the denominator equal means at the thousands so here multiply by thousands okay so here also multiply by thousand to maintain here thousand we have to multiply by hundred so here also multiply by hundred here multiply by 10 and here multiply by 10 now all the denominator are at the thousand means same now here the 60 divided by thousands now here the 600 okay divided by thousand now here the 6000 and divided by thousand and here 6 by thousand now all the denominator are the same means on a numerator basis we can compare now 6000 is greater so this is a greater means 6 is greater this is a one method or we can compare directly on unit place first okay so unit plus here 0 here 0 here 6 and here 0 so 6 is greater so that's we can directly maintain that 6.0 is greater than so this is the second method okay so second method saving the time but that comes after the only practice so now 6 means option number three is a correct one now question number eight between which two decimal fractions does 0 0.561 lie now 0 0.561 we can write down in a hundredth place means 561 divided by hundredth sorry thousands okay so now we will consider only this numerator 561 so as per this one in a option number one so this is lie 0.5 and 0.56 now we are considering only the numerator so here numerator will comes 500 after the thousands maintaining so here 500 and here the 560 so this cannot be lie in this one because 561 after 560 so option number one incorrect now option number two 0.5 and point uh, six zero now point five means five hundred and point six means six hundred yes in this one lie so option number two correct now option number three point five six two means five hundred and sixty two 
and 0.57 means 570 now in this one also cannot lie because this is a 561 before the 562 so option number 3 also incorrect now option number 4 0.56 means this is a 560 and 0.57 means this is a 570 yes in this one also can lie so option number 4 also correctly so here option number 2 and 4 correct and in question also asking two possible options so option number 2 and 4 are the correct one so question 9 and 10 are not there thank you